Hey guys, um, I just wanted to share a quick 15 minute flexibility routine that I do. I do something like this every morning. Keep it quick, simple, but something to just get my day started. Um, this is my first time filming one of these videos, so please be patient with any weird hiccups. But um, yeah, okay, let's get started. So I like to start on all fours. Just start with a little cat cow. Inhaling, dropping the belly, looking up. Exhaling, tuck. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, tuck. And then drawing big circles with the head and the hips in one direction. And reverse it. These are also called disco kitties or drunken cat cows. I usually hear a lot of pops and cracks in the morning, so we're gonna scoot our booty back and go into our child's pose. Awesome, then we're gonna come into our first down dog Pedal the feet, straightening one leg, bending the other, getting a deeper stretch in one leg at a time. And then we're gonna lift both ankles up and twist to the left. You should feel a nice side stretch in the right side of the body. Lifting up and twisting to the right. Awesome, lifting back into the center, planting the ankles, the heels, lifting the right leg up, keeping the hips square. Open the hips, let that foot fall behind you, and coming in, knee to chest. Plant the foot, coming into a low lunge. Lifting the arms up, Come into a little back bend and coming forward. We're going to go into a lizard pose, so walking the hands onto the inner edge of the foot. Walk the right foot off to the side. You can have the toes off the mat at like a slight 45 degree angle. And we can lift up. You can come down to the forearms if you want a deeper stretch. We're going to rock a little back and forth. If you feel comfortable, you can roll onto the outer edge of the right foot and kind of open the knee to the side, to the right. Getting a nice deep stretch in that outer hip. Awesome. Plant that back knee. Coming bringing that right foot back into the center. And we're gonna come into a more lifted lunge. So you can bring that foot in, make sure there's a 90 degree angle. Make sure the hips are facing forward and everything is stacked. We're just gonna press through the pelvis, tuck the back toes. Try not to lift up, but think of peeling the heel back. So keeping everything engaged, pressing that heel back. Push through the pelvis forward, keep that core engaged, and release. We're gonna go into our half split, point and flex the toes. Try to maintain a flat back, so try not to hunch. You can always use blocks, so if you need blocks, keep them nearby. But try to walk the hands forward without hunching. Wiggle the toes a little side to side. All right, going into our pigeon, crossing the shin in front of you. Try to maintain 
a parallel line with the front edge of the mat. If it's kind of difficult and you find your hip tilting up, go ahead and bring that foot closer to the hip. But ideally you want to turn so that your hips are facing the floor. We'll walk the hands forward. After a couple deep breaths, slowly walk your way back up and actively engage, squeezing that back foot and reach for the left foot. Bring the foot in. You should feel a nice stretch in the quads. After a few deep breaths, we're going to grab the foot, the left foot with the right hand. If you can, try to squeeze that foot back, rotate to face up towards the ceiling. You'll feel a nice back bend. Take three deep breaths. And coming back. Try to slowly release. Awesome. Coming back into our down dog, pedal the feet. Coming into our plank, coming down to the forearms. We're going to rotate the hips to the left and to the right. And we'll just do this a few times, back and forth. And coming back into your half plank. and into your down dog. Paddle the feet. Left leg lifts, keeping the hips square. Then open, let that foot drop behind you, looking under your left shoulder and bringing the knee into your chest. Going into our low lunge. We're gonna go into our lizard. So walk the left foot off to the side. The toes can still off the mat. You can come Planting the hands on the inner edge of the left foot. You can lift those back toes up and you can come down to the forearm. We're going to roll, roll onto the outer edge of the left foot, opening the left knee to the side. You can walk back and forth. Circles. and coming back, planting that knee, coming back into the center. Try to, you might need to bring that front foot in to get a 90 degree angle with the knees. We're gonna tuck the back toes. Think of peeling the heels back rather than coming up to a lifted lunge. So core engaged, hips thrusting forward and lifting, peeling that heel off the ground. We'll hold this for a little bit. Keep that core engaged, pressing through the right hip. And back down. We're gonna go into our front half split. So try to maintain a flat back Wiggle the toes back and forth. The movement should be coming from the hip socket. Point and flex the toes. Walk the hands forward if you can. Even if you have blocks, try to slowly inch your way forward. I like to move a lot in these stretches, so constantly wiggling around, pointing and flexing. And then we're gonna go into our pigeon, so crossing that shin in front of you. Try to get parallel with the front edge of the mat, turning the hips down to face the floor. Walk the hands forward.
Take a few deep breaths. And coming back up, first try to actively engage that back foot in. Then we're going to reach for that foot, pushing it close as close as you can to your bum. Take a few deep breaths. And then reaching for your right foot with your left hand. Keep a grab, grab on the foot with both hands as you look up towards the ceiling and the knees come overhead, or the elbows come overhead. Take three deep breaths. And come out of it slowly. Coming back the way you came. Release. Cool. Um, next, in the seated position, I'm going to stack my right leg over my left. Try to align the knees. I think this is called, like, Gomukasan legs or cow face. So knees are stacked. Feet can come forward or you can bring the feet in closer. See what feels right for you. Um, you'll feel this in like the IT band, like the outer leg. Um, I like to walk the feet forward and walk the hands forward. Take three deep breaths. Walk the hands to the left and to the right. Coming back up and switch. So right knee under, left knee on top. Again. Try to keep the knees stacked and either bring the feet close to your body or forward. I think I feel a deeper stretch when I walk the feet a little forward. Walk the hands forward. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths here. Walk the hands to the left. And to the right. Awesome. Coming back up. Opening into a straddle. Coming up on the sit bones as needed. Walk the hands forward. Try to maintain the knees facing up and back as much as possible. And I like to either flex or point the toes, but try to choose one or the other. Walk the hands to the left. And if you can, reach for that left foot with your right hand, keeping the left hand in front. and walk your hand to the other side. First, just keeping the chest forward. And then reaching left hand to right foot, keeping the right hand forward. Awesome. Walk your hands back to the center and see if you can actively lift up. Cool. Um, great. Thanks for joining me. That is just one example of a series of quick stretches I do in the morning. Um, cool.
thanks for watching.